So recently, a friend of mine offered up two knives that he just purchased before Christmas, and he asked me to unbox them and show them on my channel, and that's exactly what I'm doing. In the previous video, I showed you the mossy oak wood buoy. If this is something that interests you, you might want to check out that video. But in this video, I'm going to unbox and talk a little bit about the good old Buck 119. That's right, it's the special. Now let's get on with this video. I can't stand intros. Greetings, everyone. Welcome back to the channel, and welcome if it's your first time here. My name is Johnny. I'm an artist, I'm a musician, and I like sharp things, too. That's right. A friend of mine <clears throat> purchased this knife just before Christmas, and I have to admit, I did actually recommend this one. So hopefully he likes it, because you guys are going to like it. I like it. There's only 10,000 videos on YouTube on this particular knife, so I'm not going to get into great detail. I'm just going to open it, measure it, cut some paper, do some close-ups, and that's pretty much it. If this is something you've never seen before, which I highly doubt, we are dealing with a 420 high carbon steel with a great heat treat, forever warranty, and it even comes with a really nice pouch or sheath. I'm going to cut to the chase. <laughs> that was kind of weird that I should say something like that. That was definitely not planned. I'm going to open this. Like I said in the last video. Oh, by the way, uh, if anybody's noticed, I am Swarch coughing. I can't even pronounce the guy's name. So, <clears throat> yeah. Anyway. Maybe I can do this without hurting myself. Like I did mention before, I have hurt myself many, many, many times. Just trying to find a nice, efficient way to do this. And I know there's a clever way. And uh, the old clamshell. Hey, let's let's break with uh, let's break with tradition. Let's bring in the Sog Power Pint for this. This is what I'm looking for. This here little hook. Let's give it a shot. Huh. It's actually a little easier than using the Ulfa. That's not even an Ulfa. It's a Fiskars. This is why you come to my channel, because I'm not rehearsed. It's a Fiskars. Let's um, continue a little bit more. I thought I'd nick myself. Let's start with the leather sheath. Now, this is night and day compared to that mossy oak. If you're watching both of these videos, kind of like a pair. Let's give it a sniff test. Oh yeah. It smells like great leather. I am a huge fan of these sheaths. As you know, I've got the 120 General and the 105, but I'm not gonna bring them out. I'm gonna leave them for this video. All right, this is gonna be the challenging part. There's gotta be an easy way. It really has to. Has to. All right. I am not going to figure that out. Let's uh, let's see if we can do this. I'm already not liking it. Come on. Okay, I'm gonna cut away. I'll come back. Okay, I'm back, and that was kind of painful. I managed to not puncture myself. I found the trap door on the back side of that clamshell. Well, here you're looking at this beautiful, beautiful 119. And the year that it was made, I can't really tell. Let's bring out maybe the Fresnel. Perhaps the Fresnel will give us some info 
Oh. What is that, a divided sign? What is that? Yeah, it looks like... Okay, so it's a horizontal line with a dot on the top and the bottom, I think. Can you guys see that? So it looks like a divided sign, but maybe I'm not seeing it right. Maybe it'll show up in the video later. But anyway, beautiful, beautiful knife. Wow. Yes, I think my friend's going to be very happy with this one. This is a gem. I'm almost thinking I should get one of these one of these days. All right, so straight out of the box. How are we doing on the paper? Wow, night and day compared to that mossy oak. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Oh yeah, I could do this all day. How can you beat that? You just can't. Straight out of the box. Gorgeous. Okay. So it's per pretty awesome. I would say it's uh, definitely on the right track. Let's see how it looks in the sheath. By the way, there's a little plastic case on the inside of the sheath. And it goes all the way in. Perfect. If you've not owned a Buck 119 Special, and you're definitely thinking about it, and you're just going through the 1,001 videos that are out there, and you just happen to stumble on this one at the 1,000 and, yeah, 1,001 mark, this will be the one that'll send you right over, guaranteed. Quality, really, really nice. Huge fan. I will let my friend break everything in as I do not want to deprive him of that experience. There is the plastic sheath on the inside. You can see it right about there. Smells absolutely awesome. Again, I want to put it back into the clamshell pretty soon. A very generous belt loop, lots of room. Yeah, very good. We'll come back to this beautiful clip point. Gorgeous. Let's do some measurements for you. I did promise I would do that. Okay, so I'm gonna measure the handle from the inside of the hilt. And we're at about four and a quarter inches, roughly. And that'll give you a better idea of overall. I've got a medium-sized glove. Lots of room. The finger, the finger grooves fit almost perfect. It's a bit blocky. A little bit blocky right in this area here, but not bad. Gorgeous. Nice fit, super finish. Okay, let's keep going with those measurements before I get too sidetracked. Okay, so we're gonna go from that part of the blade. We're gonna go five and five eighths. I'm gonna call it five and five eighths, even though it's about a 64th bigger to the tip. And in metric, we are at 145 millimeters from here to the tip. A beautiful hollow grind. And I'm gonna measure this part of the blade for you as well. We're at one inch. The widest portion is at one inch. The widest portion of the handle is also coming in at one inch. Overall on the hilt, hilt is two inches. And we're going to do an overall on this one. And we are coming in overall at ten and a quarter inches. I don't want to put metal on that tip. 
you just have to trust me. Let's look at the edge grind. We'll just follow it through for its consistency. Bring it over to the other side. Gorgeous. Try not to get my fingerprints on it. And there you have it. Very nice, very nice. I often thought about getting the collection, you know, the 105, the uh, Skinner, the 119, and maybe even the, um, the Woodsman, I think it is. I've often thought about that, but where do you stop? I just watched a video before uh, doing this one of a, a guy who's got a collection of 119s, a whole swack of them, different years and stuff. So yeah, to my friend who offered up two knives to talk about on my channel, I want to say thank you. I don't think you're going to be disappointed at all with that 119. I am envious myself. I'm sure a lot of the viewers of my channel know the 119 inside and out and very well. If you have any more questions on something like this, I do suggest going out there on the YouTubes and looking at some of the finer videos out there. This is just an overview and also a thank you for loaning me two knives to present on my channel. I'm unsponsored, so these big companies are not sending me anything. So when this opportunity comes along, I like to say thank you. Please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing. In the meantime, bye for now.